Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Morning show. Today is Monday, April 22nd, 2018, and D-Day. Good morning, I'm Cajun Pepper. Good morning, I'm Time. Good morning, we are spicing up the morning show. You need a pass to visit the library during lunch periods. You are either required to either be on a study hall pass or to show the pass written for you by the library staff. Seniors may visit the library during their empties or lunch and must remain in the library during the entire period. Attention all freshmen! Tickets for next week's Spring Fling Dance will be start being sold tomorrow, Wednesday through next Tuesday. The ticket will be sold during lunches in the cafeteria for $3 each. This is our chance to do something together as a class that is just for us. Hope to see you there. Attention anyone interested in Mindfulness Club. The next meeting will be after school on Monday, April 23rd. Hope to see you there. That's it for me, and now over to Luke D. Stoll. Thank you, Hannah. Attention Model UN Club members. We will have our final meeting of the year on Tuesday, April 24th at 2.35 in Mrs. Tyne's room, W6. We will be wrapping up the year and looking forward to our first conference in November. Anyone interested in joining is welcome. Attention a students that taking AP exams that have not attended a pre-admission session yet. Tomorrow is your last chance to do so. Please be in W24 immediately after school. Attention people interested in mindfulness. The meeting is after school today in room W6. That's it for me, and now over to my buddy Nick. Thank you, Luke. The cafeteria has a new menu item on Thursday, April 26th. If you are looking for a new way to eat pizza, try the new pepperoni pizza calzone. Crispy and flaky crust on the outside, your favorite pizza makings on the inside. This calzone is loaded with cheese, pepperoni, and sauce for a blast of flavor in every bite. Look out for a staff member handing out samples today during lunch. Congratulations to the boys track team on their great performance at the Webster Invite this past weekend. Some highlights were Andrew Lembo Ames winning the mile, Ben Derringer winning the 800, Josh Parmelo took second in the mile, Brandon Nicosio was third in the two mile, Dan Fee, Matt Ryan, and Emmett Vanderstow all tied for third in the pole vault, and Mike Harris took third in the long jump. Overalls was a good way to finally start the track season. Well done, boys. That is it for me, and now over to Mr. Benz. Good morning, thank you, Nick. I think we finally turned the weather corner. Looking forward to uh, finally getting outside more often and enjoying some sunshine and some of the warmer weather. A um, Couple of reminders, don't forget when warmer weather comes, you wanna make sure we're still dressing for success. So make sure we're dressing appropriately. Uh, this is a workplace, so thank you very much for adhering to that. Also, posters and flyers uh, need to be pre-approved before you are putting them up. So just come on down to the main office and we'll look at them and go from there. Or you can have your club advisor um, approve them. So thank you for that. If I could have, make sure I have everyone's attention right now. So I'm going to give you about five seconds to make sure you're following along. Staff, teachers, if you can make sure students are kind of paying attention. Just want to make sure that we're all set. All right, here we go. Today, sometime after first period, we'll be having a lockdown drill. So yes, we're announcing it and kind of discussing it a little briefly. Um, we'll be doing the lockdown drills we normally do, okay? Now, the only difference this time will be that um, through Officer Hurley and Mr. Neil Flood, our Director of Security here in the district, um, some things have come up that we'd want to discuss with students and start to have those conversations. So normally in a lockdown, we're awfully quiet. We're still gonna go to your designated area in that room or facility, wherever you're located, wherever your, the teacher or adult tells you to go, okay? But then the teacher may ask just a couple of basic questions um, just to kind of have you thinking and discussing. They have to be quiet though, okay? So it'll be quiet conversations. The first one they might mention is situational awareness, which means where are you when this happens and what would you do, okay? Just to get you thinking. So there may not be an exact 100% right answer, but again, it's to get you thinking. And the other one is just that discussion on locked exterior doors during a normal school day. Not just the lockdown, but during a normal school day, we still have a couple um, 
of people that are opening up doors for students or people coming from the outside in. That's a major safety issue. We want to make sure that we're clear on that. So that'll be the other um, discussion. Um, you may or may not hear the phrase hide, run, fight. Um, that one may or may come up, uh, may or may not come up, but again, that's a concept that you want to kind of have in your mind during this time. Um, again, as we do for any drill, we prepare for the worst, but we expect the best. Um, we just want to make sure that we go through this mental process so that when, if anything um, does happen, we have to go into a lockdown for whatever reason, that physically we know what to do, but we've already thought through that procedure. So thank you very much. More to come on that, and I uh, appreciate your cooperation. Let's have an, a fantastic week as the weather's going with us on this fantastic journey. Thank you very much. Have a good day. What's the best thing that you could spend your money on? Candy? No. Uh huh. <laughs> you know what money is? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I have a lot of money in my boot. In money? your room? No, in my boot. In your boot? It's like a piggy bank, except it's a boot. Oh. So I will put my money in this. Okay. High five for that. Everyone has their own story to tell, and this is how you do it. Webster Thomas High School, Willink Middle School, Spry Middle School, and Webster Schrader High School. This is your time. Your time to create. Your time to be creative. And your time to show us what you've got. On May 3rd, the first district-wide film festival will be taking place at Webster AMC. All you have to do is make a film less than 15 minutes and longer than one minute. First place will receive $300, second place will receive $200, and third place will receive $100. All nominees will have their films presented at AMC. All films are due by April 29th. For more information, check us out on our Google Classroom page using the class code FAM9CA. Again, it's FAM9CA. See you on May 3rd.